lambda is the newest function to be added to excel using lambda you can create any type of functions within excel think of lambda like this let's say you want to create a piano with lego you can take some of the existing bricks combine them and then you will have a piano but what if you need hundreds of pianos you would have to do this process all over again wouldn't it be cool if there is a ready-made piano brick so that I can create any number of pianos just like that. So that's what Lambda does. It will give you a basic mechanism in Excel so that you can define any kind of function and then use them across your spreadsheet or different workbooks. Let's take a look at Lambda and understand how you can create these Lambdas in Excel, when you should be using and how to apply them. Let's go. In order to work with Lambda, you need to be using Excel 365 and enable the Office Insider option. To do this, just go to File, Account and click on Office Insider option here and join the Insider program. Very soon, Lambda is going to be available in all Excel 365 versions. So what is Lambda? Lambda is the new function using which you can make other functions in Excel. You will write the Lambdas like this lambda and then you will specify the calculation let us make a very simple lambda that takes two numbers and adds them up so we'll take the two numbers a and b and then the result will be a plus b that's the lambda when you create the lambda you have defined the logic for taking these two inputs and then adding them up to call the lambda you will then open the bracket and specify the value so if i say two comma three I'll get the result as 5. Likewise, instead of 2 comma 3, I can link them to two cells. So I'm just going to link them to cell G3 and G4. Right now they are empty, so this will be 0. But if I put a value here like 23 and 32, I will get the lambda result like this. While this simple formula is not super impressive, what this is really letting us do is it is letting us create our own functions within Excel. Now that we have created our A plus B Lambda, let us see how to call this Lambda from some other place within the spreadsheet. To do this, you need to add the Lambda to your formulas. This is a really simple process. All you have to do is take your Lambda definition. So this is my definition. Copy that control C and then go to formula ribbon, name manager, and create a new name. You can give your Lambda any name. So my, my Lambda will be add two numbers. And then the formula will be this, Lambda A comma B, A plus B. Click OK to add the Lambda. And then to call it, just go to an empty cell and then type add two numbers and you can specify whatever values you want. So for example, I can say 1276 and then it will add up those two numbers. Because add two numbers is a function, I can use it in the same way I use any other Excel function. For example, here on my spreadsheet, I do have several A and B values and I just want to get A plus B value. We will simply say add two numbers and then select this one, this one. So C24, D24 and close the bracket. We'll get the result for that. As this is a formula, I can just drag this down and I'll get the correct results everywhere. While this is good, adding two numbers is not super impressive. So let's take this to the next level and see how you can use Lambda in real life business situations with four different examples. Let's go. Our first example is I have got some sales information here for our awesome chocolates that is available in the dollar format and I just want to calculate what my value would be in euro. Here at awesome chocolates we use the conversion ratio of one dollar is 90 cents euro. So I just want to take any number multiply that with 0.9. We could of course use a simple calculation like this 0.9 but as this is a lambda lesson, let's go and do the calculation through lambda. So write lambda, our input parameter would be dollars and output would be 0 0.9 times dollars. So this is the lambda. And then for this, I can pass the parameter D5 and I'll get the value in euro. 
notice that it is showing as dollar here i'm just going to quickly change the formatting to euro this is one way to create the lambda but notice that here it is actually all inside the formula there so we could also set up a named formula we can go to formulas define name and just say to euro as the name of the lambda and then write your lambda here lambda of dollars and then return 0 0.9 times dollars that's your lambda and then when you click ok you now have a function called 2 euro in excel you could use that 2 euro and then select the input value unfortunately we get a name error so let me go and check this quickly if i go to my two euro you can see that i did make a spelling mistake here i said dollars and then i multiplied with dollars so once we fix this we should see correct answer here and then you can just drag this down not only you will see the two euro result here but if there is any other data in your spreadsheet so for example here i have got some further data i could apply my two euro there so two euro of d82 and i'll get that uh, and you just have to apply the formatting and you will get the correct answers here let's take a look at another example for this i have got some of our awesome chocolate departments how many people are there and what their average salary is given these values i want to calculate what the overall average is one way to do this is if we just say average of all of these numbers you will get an average but this would be wrong because we are averaging the averages here the correct average is called weighted average to get the correct average we need to use this sort of a syntax we will have to first take 10 people multiply their average and then calculate the overall salary amount this is where the sum product formula comes in you will take some product these few people and their averages when you do this kind of a multiplication you will get the overall salary bill so 4.192 million and then this if i divide it with the sum of the people i'll get the correct average which is 64500 wouldn't it be cool if we can define all of this as a single formula that takes my values and weights and then gives me weighted average that's what a weighted average lambda will look like we'll define the lambda here first and then add it as a lambda to the formula so lambda and then it will take two parameters parameter number one is values and the second parameter is weights and the result would be some product of values and weights divided by sum of weights so once you define the lambda like this you can pass the parameters the parameters for the first one are these four values and the second one is these four values and you will get the same result here notice that when we are defining this so far we have only had lambdas where the input values are single cells but here the input values are ranges themselves and that is still totally cool now let's define this as a w average function to do that i'm just gonna control c this portion and then from formula click on define name write my name as w average and the logic here is equal to and then say the lambda notice that when you do this you just specify the lambda alone not the actual calling parameters and our lambda is created let's test this out w average and you will have values and weights values are these four values and the weights are these four and you'll get the answer if i change something so for example within finance department we add three more people so it's now 23 instantly our average changes here for our third example let's count up how many words are there in a sentence here i've got some popular quotations and i just want to see how many words are there in each of these quotations one way to count the words is we can just count the number of spaces and then add plus one to it to get the word count to do this the standard excel syntax is again there is no function in excel to count spaces alone so you could use the len function to count what is the length of a text so if i say len i will get that this quotation is 66 characters long what we want is number of spaces so we could calculate another length which is len of substitute in the quotation 
all the spaces with nothing and when you do that you will get the answer as 51 so total of 66 characters and 51 if i remove the spaces so 66 minus 51 plus 1 would give you word count this is how you could write your lambda so we'll say lambda and then it will take a sentence and then it will do the calculations like this so it will say len of sentence minus len of substitute sentence space with nothing and then calculate that length so both lengths are now calculated plus one and then for this if i pass this as parameter i'll get 16 and if i just drag this down we will be able to see the answer notice that this method is not foolproof so if there is some words where there is no proper punctuation maintained then you're not going to get the correct result once this lambda is defined and tested properly you can go ahead and add to the name manager just like we did previously so that you can calculate this for any other situation anywhere else in the workbook with a word count formula i leave that to you as a homework Let's take a look at our last example, which is setting up a function to get the tomorrow state. Excel has this beautiful today function using which I can get the current date. Happens to be 2nd of March 2022. But what if I want to have a tomorrow function? It doesn't exist. Well, you can create it. You just go lambda and then directly specify the calculation today plus one as the lambda for that. And then open bracket, close bracket and you'll get tomorrow's date. It will appear in the number format, but with date formatting, you will see that tomorrow is 3rd of March, 2022. So to add this tomorrow function to your workbook, you just go to name manager, new, and then say tomorrow and write the calculation here as lambda today plus one. Click OK. Now tomorrow is added to your workbook. I can go anywhere and then say equal to tomorrow, open bracket, close bracket, I'll get the answer. Notice that it will again just appear in the number format, but with a shortcut like Control Shift 3, you will be able to turn that into a calculation proper date format. And it will update when tomorrow comes. Whenever future date you're watching this video, when you download the sample file, you will see the correct tomorrow date here. So what pianos are you going to build with this amazing Lambda function? Do let me know in the comments. Apart from Lambda, Excel now also has a new operator the hash or the spill operator changes the way you approach and work with data in excel if you want to learn a little bit more about that check out this video that is shown on the screen i'll catch you there bye bye